I feel good. Uh, you miss hit five kickoffs, is that correct? So I try to change it up this week because um, usually I get them all out the end zone. So I try yeah. to get some high kicks to try to pin them inside the five, inside the ten. But it didn't work out for me, so I guess we'll go back to getting them out the end zone. <laughs> was that a coaching decision or was that a personal decision? No, I, I, I thought it was it was good to do, but it didn't work, so <laughs> back to my old ways. Did you get in trouble for that? Doing no, no, okay. no, yeah. You run by I mean, Coach Mack always wanted me to do that, so that was like his kind of mindset. But I guess it's a little different now. So. You have a little more freedom to do some things, maybe. Um, Try some things. Not really. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go back to LSU? How disheartening was that for you? It was. Um, yeah, it was tough. Um, I mean, I think I bounced back well. I think it's um, every kicker goes through his ups and downs, and I take full responsibility for it. So. I think I bounced back well. So. Crazy that it was your first, maybe your only missed extra point of co yeah. your college career. Yeah, it was a tough one, especially in that scenario. But I mean, nobody's perfect, so. Eddie, you were particularly close to Coach Mack, it seemed like, given kind of how your recruitment went and all that. What's this been like for you? Um, it's horrible. It sucks because, you know, I felt like I lost a best friend. So the reason why I came here was because of him. So. I mean, it, it, it hurt. It hurt a lot, but I mean, you know, we got to win, and this program expects a lot from the players, and it's all about winning at the end of the day. It's, it's sad, but it's all about winning.